Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Local Chat. Folks, it's episode 45. It is the 11th of the 11th month of the 2021. Folks, it's Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Um, and also Skyrim Day. And also next oh. year, it'll be Starfield Day. And also GTA Trilogy Day. And there are people joining me. Uh, the people who are joining me are, in <laughs> fact, humans. It's Ian Gibson and Chris Elliott. Wow, I'm really surprised you didn't say MAGA when you said episode 45, because I know you're a big 45 fan. Uh, actually, uh, he's 45 and 46. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> he's controlled ten years of Sky <laughs> Ten years of Skyrim being a bad has... game. Boom! <laughs> Take that, Todd! I was, I was about to say 46 doesn't make sense, but considering his supporters and people who would say that, it actually does kind of make sense. <laughs> I had that entire thought process JFK where I was like... Jr. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Jr. I 46 is JFK Jr. I'm sorry, oh, I forgot. I'm so sorry. My bad. I'm so sorry. Uh, you, condolences you, to JFK. You, you forgot plane. that none of the none of the presidencies <laughs> since 1918 are canon, idiot. <laughs> that's that's canon. right. Canon. Or who's who's the one that people argue is the first president of the United States? Oh, oh I don't. The president of the that was like a that was like a middle school thing where it's like actually because uh, they were the president of the Congress. Yeah, and something so, like, like that. Someone was like fighting for his, his they're probably the ancestor or their uh, descendant was fighting for their their honor. Um folks, we've got yeah. video games to talk about. We've got me to talk about. We um ugh. oh man. This week Let's last this past weekend was Extra Life where we raised staggeringly over a thousand dollars, which is absolutely <laughs> insane. Uh, I just just to just to say we streamed for 25 hours over about 23 hours. We raised like three hundred dollars and then we raised seven hundred dollars in two separate hour chucks. Yeah, it, it was yeah. insane. And it, that was I for y'all to ch Children's Miracle Network as well. Or which one? Did yeah. Children's Miracle yeah. Network. Yeah, we did Children's Miracle Network. We didn't do yeah. fat kids like you. You guys, the big ones is what Zach said on your the big yeah, <laughs> yeah. those those big PhD. beautiful kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, the PH know, kids. We're also doing a uh, Miracle Network. <laughs> I thought you said the HD yeah. kids, not those, <laughs> low, not those low resolution standard deaf get the, kids. Get, the low get, get, get those two seventy p kids the fuck out of here. <laughs> God, they watch four eighty videos, three sixty p straight to your early grave. <laughs> my my YouTube has been defaulting to seven twenty recently. And it is oh, a yeah. nightmare, and I did don't you, did, know did why. You, did you take your butt off and beat your internet router? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I called Verizon and said, give me John Her Verizon Zero <laughs> Dawn. Give me John T. <laughs> yeah, Verizon. Give, say, give me Aloy from Verizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> yeah. She's hot. Um, I, I, but oh, anyways, we boy. raised over $1,000. Over it's incredible. Again, another shout out oh, yeah. to Alexander, my brother, who watched... 90% of the stream and donated probably 90% of the money uh, to see life. Enan and I shave our heads and wax our legs. Uh, and then uh, also big shout out to Karen who took care of me the entire time and finished waxing my leg while I was drunk Sunday night. How was, uh, how was sleeping in your sheets with your freshly waxed legs? I, I touched this wax leg and I cringe. I hate it so much. Are you only it waxed is... one? Yeah, it's disgusting. I it takes hate a lot. touching it. I know. I would. I would have to do both just for my own sanity. It's. I mean, it's oh, not well. short season anymore, which is nice. Well, at least not for me. Kind of. <laughs> kind of is in Florida, but who cares? It's bikini season up here in, in Jersey, baby. Yeah. Um. The worst. The weirdest thing. I think we talked about this on Tuesday. Was uh, my head on a cold pillow or like putting a hat on, like gets mm -hmm. cold really quickly, and then yeah, just awful i want my hair back lots, lots you gotta wear hats now it's mandatory because it's just way too cold you yeah. guys love putting your bodies in the line for this charity i mean it's easy it as long money. as it's not like piercing my body or tattoos or tattoos yeah. <laughs> well <laughs> tattoos. Nine, nine, nine grand so oh it's not gonna <laughs> happen people aren't that charitable um folks we have a lot of video games to talk about a lot of stuff has come out um i'm gonna start with me and go quickly and then skip one of them and then have chris and then ian and i can talk about the uh, uh, racy one uh racing one <laughs> the racy <Ooh>. one <laughs> leisure suit larry bundle <laughs> came out yeah. yesterday this, this the sexy new sub pixel game um Ooh. <laughs> yeah. 
characters. I just want to shout out, um, we debuted that Jackbox Party Pack 8 on stream for Extra Life, and I think all of pretty those good. games are really good. I think really are were pretty fun, at least for like debuting on stream. The Drawful Animate, I thought, was really good. That was phenomenal. Like phenomenal. the way they set it up and everything, I thought it was phenomenal. I think that one's the best. I still think they need to give you more colors and not having an erase is ridiculous. Yes. Um, but uh, I think the way that it like lets you, it makes it easier to trace your drawing for the animate thing is very impressive. How did y'all like the weapons drawn one? Uh, I don't oh, think we, played we didn't. One. So we don't, we didn't play all of them. The, I should have okay, specified okay, okay, the ones okay, we okay. played that we enjoyed. We did that gotcha, one. Gotcha, we did job okay. job and job, we job did the I trivia like one. It's a bit generic but i do like it oh the wheel trivia yeah. one the wheel trivia one i think is my favorite new one uh, yeah. okay now that you you say you didn't play all of them i'm i understand a little <laughs> better we played all of them for our jackbox 8 debut stream and did not have a good time <laughs> oh no <laughs> um yeah so of the ones we played i enjoyed them um and then other than the game i'm saving to talk about i played 20 minutes of each gta trilogy remastered this morning uh, as it was my job at my place of work to capture the 4K60 gameplay uh, to upload Ooh, to the rag. YouTubes, um, which isn't actually part of my job description, but uh, they needed some help. So I, I stepped up uh, like a boss. And then um, I, of those first 20 minutes I played of each of those games, I think I'm going to keep playing Vice City because it intrigued me the most. Have you not played? I've never played any of those games before. Um, what was the first GTA you played? Four. Uh, four. Because four is amazing. Four is amazing. Except so for the great. except for the boat Ten. cars. Ugh. I don't know, man. I kind of got used to it. it was, I mean, it I actually made too. sense in the city. You know, yeah. trying to like boat car around a corner. <laughs> it was good. I I sorry. I Ian's, go Ian's symbol for boat car was. <laughs> <laughs> you know. He's speaking sign he language. Swing of <laughs> He's speaking that Florida language. Speaking that Florida language. Uh, and also today I installed the Skyrim Anniversary Edition, which Here, I Jesus. now with horse armor, which I expected to be more fanfare, but literally downloaded the game, brought me to the main menu of the like special legendary edition, whatever it is, and then just installed a bunch of creation content for free, and then was like. Start the game now. Um, so I haven't started. They, they didn't bother like bundling it all in already for you. It's just like now so we gotta like download a, the mods. It's a patch. It's like a pre oh, no, no. To so, the mod. Yeah, so it's a patch, and but it doesn't install everything until you launch the game, and then it pauses on the main menu, installs it all relatively quickly. It's like thirty seconds, and then you can just play the game. But I was expecting like a new, like launcher like a new version of skyrim in xbox but it it just launches the the legendary edition so you're like essentially buying dlc um i'm very excited looking forward to play that game again because i haven't played through it since it came out uh i, I dabbled with just, mods like, loaded and stuff up a, loaded up a menu that was like here's all the popular nexus mods which ones do you want the horny ones the not horny ones <laughs> I was, the kid like, ones. I was surprised. I, I wish they just owned it. Like Todd Howard was like, yeah. "Hey, you want the sex stuff? Here it is. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's do it." Um, because you can open the creator creation club menu and go through the ones that are like purchasable, but then you can just go to the mods menu on the Xbox and just install mods. Like you can install the unofficial Skyrim patch. You can install all sorts of stuff. So it can you get them from Nexus on there? Not from Nexus, but it's it's. Oh, okay. I don't think they limit other than sexy stuff uh I, although i didn't look um i'm not sure what they limit it's hentai but it with a with a ph yeah <laughs> to me you it looks like what <laughs> it's you spell it special you gotta get around the filters <laughs> <laughs> to me it just looked like i was browsing like a mod manager website like it didn't seem like they were some curated list of mods that got on here which is which is kind of cool because i had never seen that um, so Todd I report... Howard and Pete Hines swirling their, their wine glasses yeah. looking through the mod catalogs. Oh, this one's fantastic. Send oh, incredible. <laughs> um, fruity bouquet. Uh, so I'll report on that next week if I have time to sink into that this weekend. Really looking forward to it. Um, moving on, Ian. 
Or actually, let's get Chris first. Chris, um, <laughs> there's games on here I recognize. What have you been playing? I, I like, I was writing this during on the monitor. I was like, God, I haven't played any games. And then, like, as you started talking, I was like, oh, I play games. <laughs> um, uh, League of Legends and RuneScape. Nobody, you know, you don't care. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody gives a shit. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to oh. hop in here. Okay. I'm looking at this list and I'm thinking, does this mean you finally got a PlayStation 5? Yes, I got a PlayStation 5 about three weeks ago. Congratulations. I know you were you were hunting it down for a while. Well, so I got it officially in September and then it was like, hey, it's not arriving till October 28th. And then yeah. it showed up like October 22nd or some shit like that. Yeah. Ooh. And that whole time you're like, oh, my God, are they going to cancel it? Are they going to cancel? Oh, it? I was yeah. terrified because people were complaining about Walmart cancellations all over Twitter, like all the yeah. time. Um, but luckily it didn't do that. Uh, even though my my credit card did think that I was uh, being scammed because I don't ever order anything at Walmart and all of a sudden oh, I spent the five hundred dollars <laughs> and they were like, hey, is this yep. legit? And I'm like, it's legit for the love of Christ. <laughs> don't yeah. cancel it. You know, yeah. it's suspect that my credit card sent me a fraud alert when Google tried to charge me, yet did not send a fraud alert when I ordered food in Florida for Ian. Which is... How, how'd you order the food? Through Seamless or something yeah. like that? Yeah, I mean, you, you didn't order food in Florida. He ordered through a generic... But on online. my credit card, it comes up as that restaurant ordered. Like, not as oh, Seamless. Oh, that is weird. That so is that's weird. why I bring it up. <laughs> Anyways, it's, that is weird. Continue, Christopher. Uh, yeah, nobody cares about League of Legends and RuneScape. Uh, they're great games. Well, one of them is RuneScape. Are you great. playing RuneScape uh, right now? Of course I am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of question is that? I saw it in your glasses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I played Unsighted. I nearly beat it. Or sorry, I did beat it. I didn't hundred percent. Um, Unsighted is an indie game on Steam. I think it's also available via Games Pass. Actually, I know for a fact it's available via, via Games Pass. Uh, it is. So it sort of takes DNA from like top-down Zelda's, uh, but also like uh, very, very hyper light drifter inspired. Um, Ooh! And thanks for uh, listening. <laughs> yeah, like to the point where there is like so you can get like you can uh, put like chips on your character, which like basically upgrades. And one of them just literally makes the game play more like Hyper Light Drifter. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's great uh the game is really really impressive especially considering that it was made on basically no budget by basically two people um wow i highly recommend if you're a fan of like the classic zelda formula of like go through a dungeon get that dungeon's item and then that dungeon's item helps you unlock more things in the overworld if you enjoy that like loop and like that like serotonin rush you will very much enjoy unsighted also it's uh lgbtq plus and uh person of color created and story aligned like uh the narrative is very progressive that's cool nice. uh, and it's really it's very well done also has uh some cool like accessibility elements where they're like hey there's like a time element to this game that is very core but if that stresses you the fuck out you can turn it off <laughs> which is that's great awesome. because as someone as someone that doesn't have a lot of time i'm like that's awesome yeah. um played uh uh, so I got the, got the PlayStation Five. I'll start like in order uh, order of you playing things. I guess uh, Astro's Playroom is the best pack and title ever. It is better. It's than, incredible. It is it's better. Incredible. Than, it is better than Wii Sports. I don't. So care. good. <laughs> um, so good. It is astonishing. It, it, it. I was. It was perfect. It was the perfect level of like self indulgent fanfare that usually I think only Nintendo gets right. I think other game companies just can't nail it right. Sony yep. did a fantastic job. And like yeah. the the little references uh, to like um, uh, can, she, can like when you get to the final boss bo spoilers, there's a uh, data there's like a memory card that says Ken's because mm -hmm. uh, it's Kenshiro uh, PlayStation guy's last name. Yep, that's that's yeah it's PlayStation. PlayStation guy's last name. Not 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 Sugimori, the other one. Ken, Ken, Ken PlayStation. Ken uh, PlayStation. Kenny, Kenny PlayStation. Um. Uh, Kenny PlayStation. <laughs> I am Kenny P. PlayStation. Um, and then I played uh, PlayStation. <laughs> and then I played Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Haven't beaten yet. Haven't beaten any of these next two yet. Uh, Rift Apart might be the smoothest video game I've ever played. Oh, it's so it good. Just, it just every like even if you don't like Ratchet and Clank, I'm a huge Ratchet and Clank fan. I played every, all the games. They're, they're astonishingly good. Uh, this game just feels great. Everything about it feels so seamless. The I know, like Sony's jerked themselves off over the whole you're seamlessly in, in and out of cutscenes to gameplay. They love talking about that. 
Um, okay. But it's really nice and it looks really good. And every time that they do it really well, where they don't like they don't do a cut three like five seconds before they switch you, when they just like the full scene plays and you're in gameplay again, I'm like, yeah, that works. Yeah. That works. Also, that those, looks really fucking nice. Those like yeah. speed skates are i don't know uh, if you've unlocked them yet the 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 dash one or like the grind rail thing there are skates that you just can infinitely hover like skate yeah, like yeah hover yeah, boots yeah. uh those are so good i oh i kind of want to replay that game it's so good i'm, I'm very, very excited to to finish it um also the story so far is pretty cool um and then last thing is a uh, kina bridge of spirits which I, i'm nearly nearly done with uh, Kina, Kena, Kena. I don't know how to pronounce the damn character's name because every character in that game pronounces it differently. What the fuck? Yep. Open to interpretation. Uh, like uh, to put it on, like this has to be intentional, but I can't imagine why you would want to do this intentionally. It's so weird. <laughs> um, that game is really cool. Uh, I, I've said on on the mod that like I don't think the game is like I don't think it's perfect. I think it's actually quite deeply flawed, but in a way that I uh, kind of like. I kind of like that the game has flaws. It feels very reminiscent of Ratchet and Clank one, like Jack and Daxter one, like the early <laughs> PS two mascot titles, which I think is something that is greatly missing from games because those games are very much geared towards like the 10 to 12 year olds who are like, I want to learn how to play video games that are more, uh, I don't want to say it's like substantial, but like, you know, that aren't just like whatever mindless multiplayer roblox, roblox uh, Fortnite, whatever the fuck like yeah. that is if i was like hey child play this storyline single player video game i feel like they could pick up canna understand what's going on play the game and have a nice time and be like i had a good experience with that and like that is i think incredibly underrated in video games mm -hmm. nowadays because everything is like go 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 big flash substance more 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 gotta get these tiny child brains to pay attention and i think like just a nice yeah uncharted simple yeah. yeah i think a nice simple story game that is targeted at younger players is really good yeah that, i don't I've, that piece I've, of never, shit. I, I've never i've never played i've never <laughs> yeah. played an uncharted game i have the, no the, frame the, that's all it's really what it is though like it's just like whoa cinematic sequence you barely have to touch the controller one. you're climbing a plane i've played no, like five haven't. hours of uncharted oh, shut yes, your mouth yes i have God, also I hate uh, you. <laughs> Uh, if Ratchet and Clank is the smoothest game I've ever seen, uh, Kenna has the best cutscenes I've ever seen in a video game. They're That's good. That's good to hear. Gorgeous. Yeah. They like people. Everyone. Whenever we saw a trailer, everyone's like, "Oh, it looks like Pixar made this." The cutscenes look like Pixar made it. They're in. They're amazing. Animation Studios first video game. They they better be good cutscenes. You know. Yeah. Better be. Uh yeah, that's great. I'm glad you finally got your PS5. Mine right. has not been powered on in at least several months. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I do. I forget about it because uh, Xbox is just infinitely better. I'm sorry. It's true. Games, no, no. I mean, I, look, I, look yeah. I, I don't give a shit about which multi-billion dollar company got my money first. Yeah. So I was going to get it eventually. Um, yeah. Uh, I, will, I, will, I will say, though, I, I really do want to play Ratchet and Clank. I've just been penny pinching lately. And now I'm at the point where I'm like just waiting for a Black Friday sale to play it. So I, I do want to play my PS5. There's just not. Insomniac is famously right like they put their shit on sale so i think you can pick it for like 40 bucks soon yeah, yeah. um and that's that's what i'm waiting for yeah uh how do you feel about the dual sense i like it's it. fantastic yeah I, like it. it really sold me. it's a, it's it really sold me it's a good like it's such a good addition that i notice it when it's not there but i'm also not like yelling at everyone about it but i i like having it in that extra level of sensory the uh haptic trigger thing i think is incredibly impressive i'm terrified that it's going to break over time yeah yeah it could i've, I've seen I, like the teardown you can see some of the internals there there's definitely more moving parts than in a normal trigger mm -hmm. um but i like that that capsule machine in astra's playroom where you go to oh, break yeah. the capsule and it's like a it's like a, it gets tense tense and then there's a and then there's a breaking point and then you break through it like a crunch awesome. almost so cool incredible i i will say the one thing i'm worried about and i i don't think we've hit this point yet is that games are going to start to get lazy and they're going to do the bare minimum implementation of uh haptic trigger on dual sense if fully at all. fully believe that this like most things with all these gimmicks that like nintendo and sony yeah. love will only be used by first party games and i'm actually okay with that yeah, yeah well 
because I, I did play, I literally bought Call of Duty Cold War just because I want, just because people were saying, oh, the shooting uses the haptic triggers and it mm -hmm. felt nice. It didn't feel like a hundred percent incredibly well implemented, but it did feel like I was pulling a trigger versus just pulling a controller button. That's cool. Um, so, so I like, I'm on the edge where I'm like, I want, I want everybody to start using it and I want them to focus on it to literally be like, how can we implement this as well as possible and make it feel so good. And I'm worried that not, they're, they're not Nintendo. They're not, they're not going to tell third parties that you, you know, you have to hold, hold the Wiimote in a certain way. People that, yeah. people that are remastering <laughs> Okami and they're just like, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> like how every Nintendo game has to run on the virtual boy. Like, uh, it's in every contract. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I yeah. take it take it back to Shiggy's place, and he has his special <laughs> Virtual Boy, and you have to play it in front of him while he watches. Yeah, and you yeah. have to be naked. Um, I um, I was actually thinking with all the Elden Ring stuff of firing up Demon's Souls, uh, just to see how pretty it is and play a little bit of it, um, on my PS5. But I'm I might just not and just wait for Elden Ring. I don't think not... I'm ever gonna play Demon Souls. I just don't like. And I, I heard enough bad about it after I heard so much good about it that I'm like, eh. Yeah, I will. I will play it long enough until I'm like, I'm good. I'm not gonna be sit there and be like, I have to be Demon Souls. Um, but maybe I'll maybe I'll fire up. And I, I've been meaning to check out um, more of the uh, Ghost of Tsushima stuff. I never finished. I do. That. Uh, yeah, I want to try the upgraded version Ugh. of that. Um, I also want to play Returnal eventually. Yeah, yeah, now that you I, can save, sounds nice. Well, yeah. the thing, but they, I'm, hey, I'm glad I missed all that shit. That's not my problem. <laughs> they did, but the, just to be clear, with Returnal, they were like, yeah, sure, now you can save it, but it's only one save at a time. You can't save scum. Like they do all these things. Like I feel like they, but that's I fine. Feel like, it's a loop game. I'm okay with that. But I feel like there's other problems that I would have with Returnal, which is like how long a run is, which is like it's like a multi-hour run, and. I feel like they just are not going to fix those things. But so for me personally, isn't that it's the like, exact like situation that is now fixed though, where you can suspend the run and come back later. You can, but it's, it's not something like Hades where you can do a run in 45 minutes and beat it, or at least get close to beat it. It's like, no, if you're going, if you're good at the game and you're going to be doing a serious run, it's several hours yeah. committed yeah. to like a every, single run. Yeah. Every run is, is going to be long. But that's also like Hades is meant to be completed multiple times to get the true ending. Returnal is like, once you beat it, you beat it. That's, that's that, right. that it's true. Well, I thought, I know. I, I think there may be two or three loops, but, but anyways, point is, I feel like there are still problems with that game that they are not willing to fix. And the save is a step in the right direction, but mm -hmm. I'm waiting for that to be like a $10 discount buy and then I'll try it. Or yeah, PlayStation. I'm, I won't pay over 30 for that. Yeah. 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 I won't pay over $29.95. Um, yeah. Well, 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 $29.97. Oh, damn it. Um, man, I was in a big auction mood this week because prop store was doing an auction and I was like, oh, let me check this out. See if there's anything. Everything's easily over a thousand dollars. So. I was like, oh, auctions are cool. Um, <laughs> folks, the final game we're going to talk about, which is a game I've been playing a lot this week. It's a game Ian's been playing a lot this week. It's a game Karen is currently playing. If not, It's called Unpacking. We're talking about Unpacking. Uh, oh, I forgot this you is had an indie unpacking. title. Indie title for the Xbox. Um, Everyone's it's literally... talking about this fucking game. Is it that fun? Let me, let me, let me explain. Let me explain what's going on here. So this, this is, is I, I submit... <laughs> It's like RuneScape. Uncharted sucks. RuneScape's good. Yeah. Uh, it's basically an isometric game and you are basically you, you load in and you are unpacking some for somebody over their life. So every time they move in their life, not their entire life, but let's say five or six different moves, you're just shown this is where they live now. These are their boxes. You need to unpack and put them, put the stuff away. Um, and it's isometric. It's pixel art. Uh, it has some really nice music and sound design in it. And, um, it Teen, sounds very simple. Teens keep thinking the game cube goes in the kitchen. Yeah. Did you it see sounds that very simple. Yeah, it, does. it sounds very simple. It's only three hours long, but I, I, I really want to highlight it because it's doing some really cool things. Number one, it's a game about unpacking. Like, that's a crazy idea. And then for them to also implement it where there's not necessarily a scoring system. It's not like uh, it's not like Goat Simulator or uh, or other games where they're like, we're going to take a simple concept and just do it 10,000% over the top fireworks. Everything's on fire and there's nothing wrong with that. But unpacking is confident enough in its game design to say, no, it's a game about unpacking. Um, number two is that it uses these really nice game design ideas to give you enough freedom to do what you want to do, 
but also to have certain restrictions. Like, uh, you know, for example, um, like you mentioned the GameCube, like there's a GameCube in this game. It has to go in the right room and it has to be off the floor. And uh, there's probably some other background rules, like it can't be on the couch. But mm -hmm. other than that, you can put it anywhere. You can put it on the bookshelf. You can put it in the center of the console. You can put it on the top of the console. You can put it where you want to. And it, like, I, I packed up and I unpacked recently, and I've moved probably half a dozen times in my life. And it just, it, like, this unpacking immediately was me unpacking. Like, I don't know if you guys have, like, unpacking rules or, like, setup rules, but I, I do things like, for example, uh, air freshener goes on the back of the toilet because then when I clog the toilet, I move it to the front of the toilet to let people know not to use that toilet. And so every time I unpacked and I got the air freshener, I was like, it goes on the center of the back of the toilet. And then it was like, it was like toilet paper, toilet paper. One goes on the roll and at least one more roll goes within arm's reach, preferably under the kitchen, under the sink. And then the rest of it goes in the closet. Oh, and so I was like, get one of those vertical things that you stack yeah. the rolls in. If they have them, if they have them. But some of the places I was unpacking into in this game did not have them. But it lets you do that. Fair. It's not, re it's not restricting. Well, it's also, not literally being like, that's the wrong place. Or you get half points. It's just like, unpack how you want to. It's great. How often are you clogging the toilet <laughs> with your massive turds? <laughs> Hey, once, once a week. Are you? Week? Some, <laughs> now, do you take do you toilets. take massive dumps or do you use too much TP? It's probably a good combination of both. I, Look, folks, I need a bidet. It's on my wish list. I uh, have, I'm gonna get one. I can confidently $50. say I, I have oh, not clogged ones. a toilet in, as far as I can remember, at least two years. Oh, I've clogged. No, <laughs> you're you're that's, you're an anomaly. That's messed up. The, I do want to say you have the crazy. system shock. Oh, I do want to say the other game. thing about unpacking is that unpacking tells a story mm -hmm. and it doesn't tell a story by having narration. It doesn't tell a story by having you find notes or having you find audio tapes. It doesn't do it through cutscenes. You are just it tells a story through the unpacking. You know, like like for example, the very first unpacking, you're like, oh, this is a child's room. They're probably like eight or nine maybe guessing by the way how they are things and you know like they have a picture of their mommy and their daddy so they're in a happy you know happy family and everything's going fine and it's telling these stories as you're unpacking objects and then also which objects get carried from move to move you know like there are certain like things in the game lot. that's cool yeah there are things in the game that last through like 20 years of moves and you're like that's very important to this person um and how much so good cost it's free it's on game pass oh Look, it's free if you, well how if much you want to buy this game, game pass I don't. I don't give a shit. Get Game Pass. <laughs> I know, but get I, Game I'm, Pass. I'm trying to make a point to help you, and you're not fucking helping. But spend a dollar yeah. to get Game Pass, and then I yeah. have Game Pass. Um, it's phenomenal though. It. I highly recommend it. It's only about two and a half, three hours. It's Ooh. very simple. It's, it's a lot of fun. Worth it. Hundred percent worth it. Hey, Give them some what money. I, what I was going to say is like I am a big fan of games that are like they cost you roughly what it would cost you to go to the movies. Yeah, three and hours. Three, and, and Two. exactly, and it's a three-hour experience. My game of the year in 2018 was Donut County. It cost me ten dollars. It takes took me three hours, and I walked away being like, I completed this game. It was a lovely experience. Fuck both of you. <laughs> it's a piece it's of Donut shit County sucks. Game. <laughs> Actually, Where's Jake? He'll back. I, me I like this. Donut County. I was just sad it wasn't the Katamari game I wanted it to be. It was. It was like. It was like a like a very half-assed video game. Is you know what, what I mean? Like. What? <laughs> yeah. It was like, no, it felt you, like 5% of a real game. I don't game. agree with you that. Fucking, you fucking no man's sky yourself. You expect something that wasn't there. <laughs> no. Anyways, um, <laughs> let's talk about the other the game. game. delivered on exactly what it promised to be. Chris, keep, which you keep killing, a keep and killing giant a crabs. Just go I'm back killing to black demons in the fucking it's like 20, 20 two minute crab, levels. You know. <laughs> They're level Anyways, 172. Let's talk about no, I'm Forza gonna Horizon talk 5. About, no, you're not. This gonna game talk came about out recently. It. Let me let me intro it. And I'll kick it over to you. Okay. Uh, uh, hold on. Forza hold Horizon on. 5. You, there you go. You were talking about each other. Go ahead. This is this is the racing game from Xbox. It's part of the uh, Forza series. It is uh, kind of the second of the tripod. You have Forza uh, Motorsports, which is their main. You have Forza Apex, which was their free to play, which I assume is dead now. Horizon's more of an open world, slightly arcadey, but still simulator racer. 
Fifth in the series, first on next-gen consoles, Game Pass came out on Tuesday. Will, uh, I hear you've been playing it. Can I say one thing about Forza before you guys go on? Go for it. Yeah, don't say uh, it. I don't know shit about Forza. I'll be on the floor during this topic. Fort okay, It's pronounced Fort-za. I don't give a crap. Forza. Forza Horizon 5. Fort you've been playing it. Folks, I've been playing it. It's been good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of racing games. I like Euro Truck Simulator. I like the iRacing I did at Ian's that one time. And I like Burnout. Um, I think Forza Horizon 5 is a good mix of that. 4, I didn't get that much into because, frankly, I didn't care about England or Scotland or Wales. Um, I don't think Wales. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was just, it was definitely Scotland. I guess it was England as well. Nobody cares about Wales. Um, it, either the country or the animal. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. Um, the racing is superb. The cars look good. The performance is great. My issue with this game um, is Ian's freaking drive avatar it's the worst. <laughs> he won't <laughs> bow down to me. I, Am I beating you? I raced you at least four <laughs> times on a map, and you kept winning. It was so <laughs> annoying. It had to be a map that you must have a time on already, because you were the same time. I don't know. I, how I don't know cause, exactly. Cause... Drive guitars work. Um, yeah, the, I know the that promise, since you the, play it, it adds stuff yeah. to it. Well, the, the promise of Drive Atars is that basically it is replicating my behavior asynchronously. So that when Will races, his AI drivers are using my behavior and they show my name. But based on how much I've played Forza games, I, I don't think it's a very good replication of the behavior. Yeah, so that's why I'm wondering if like you've done this race so it knows kind of what time to hit. Because I raced you in another race, and I like you were like tenth, like I whipped past you. So I wonder if you hadn't done that race, so it kind of didn't know where to put you. Well, well. So here's here's my here's one of my big problems with this game and with Forza series total, and this is across Horizon and the main games as well. Is that they employ they employ rubber banding, they employ cheating. It's not racing. Like, they are actively slowing down and speeding up your rivals to make it more dramatic. It's especially apparent in the showcases, which kind of makes sense. They're kind of like, well, you're racing a train. Train's got to keep up with you. But when you're trying to actually race the AI, they will rubber band with you. Like, like I don't know if you've ever had races where you crash really hard, so you're far behind. If you notice towards the end, all of a sudden, you miraculously catch up. Or the opposite, where you're you're really far ahead of them. And then it's like, towards the end, it's like, oh, no, they're miraculously catching up. And, like, I know enough about racing both how I'm performing and how the AI is performing. I'm looking at him and I'm going, he didn't take the right line there. There is no way he got more speed out of that corner or there's no way I got more speed out of that corner. I should not be catching up to that guy. Yeah. And if they just keep doing that in this game. And let me tell you why it pisses me off so much because, because fucking, fucking people on TikTok with like literally like $600 SIM rigs are like, look at how good I am at Forza Horizon. I'm going to wait 10 seconds and then I'm going to catch up to everybody. And I'm like, you freaking moron. The game is cheating for you. Why are you <laughs> showing off like you're good? and that makes me so mad like i want to love the racing in this but it, they're, they're, it's just constantly like wiggling the physics and the timing yeah. and everything just to make you feel better and it's it's too obvious and it's I, hate I, it. I agree with that i i don't know because i feel less of that in this game than i did in the previous one it might be because i've it just is played better. this more because i did a, i did a race four times and I, I came in third the first time fourth the second time I think third again and then first at the very end not at the very end but like the last corner that i was getting down and i felt like i was improving and they were staying the same so yeah i like at least had that feeling which i was okay with um it, it is minimized and i think one of the big, biggest reasons why i think it's minimized in this game versus horizon 4 and horizon 3 is because in those games there were absolutely times where it broke the logic so you would start a race, you would be in the exact same class, exact same car as people around you, and they would, the AI would take off and finish yes. the race a minute ahead of you. And it was like, that is completely broken. There is no way they should be able to do that, considering I'm driving a perfectly fine race. 
and they're somehow miraculously faster than me. And I haven't seen that yet in this. It's definitely still doing it, but it's not as bad or obvious as it was before. Um, I did race the train, and that train was going way too fast um, <laughs> yeah. to be realistic. Um, the other thing that annoys me the most out of this game is... Uh, oh, Chris, do you have a question? Uh, yes. Uh, no, I have, a, I have a point to make. I was raising my hand like a polite little boy. Uh, all racing games have been downhill since the hit game split second. Go on. Or the hit game I Rush. Split um, well, second's great. I haven't played Rush. Rush is great. N64. We used to play all the time. They go Rush at the, t- at the title screen. That's great. Um, I, the other really extremely annoying thing about this game is every single person they are the most annoying people in the world. Your character yeah, is incredibly hyper. annoying. Everyone's incredibly annoying. Also, I'm sorry, but most people who go to a different country and say it's foreign language words in, in their own language don't pronounce them properly the first time. And it's just uncanny and eerie that i okay, look so, sorry hold on can you explain what the fuck that sentence made no like, sense to this, me like they'll be like oh yeah they go over to that watermelon del muerto de la blah, blah. like they'll say it perfectly in spanish like and then the continue fuckers. talking ah, it okay. so it's like know. they yeah the, the the people who are from mexico i'm fine with you pronouncing things properly um but even people who <laughs> speak languages don't pronounce things properly it's just it's so weird yeah. like so practiced and i i don't like it um, got that, yeah. uh, it's got that far cry double language thing going on where they're like, we'll say it for you dumb Americans and now we'll say it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I will say as a slight pushback to your criticism about the tone, it, people are people can be annoying, but I really love in these Forza Horizon games how it is like 110 percent positive enthusiasm yes. and optimism it's not like it's not like i'm gonna beat you i'm gonna ground you into the dust yo you got the fastest car bro it's still just like no we're gonna go do some crazy things in cars and it's like whoa you having fun man this is awesome look at those in flamingos cars. everyone is excited it's- and i'm okay with that also i yeah. am 100 percent down with all of the a accessibility options which is its own thing but the inclusion options in your character creator where you can just be like prosthetics you can be uh i mean you can do different hairstyles you can do all sorts of different stuff i was just like my character is a girl who has a one prosthetic arm and i'm like this looks rad that's awesome, that's awesome. Um, yeah and you can like you can do both arms can you can have, do both can legs. You have those those cool uh blade legs oh, that people I, get maybe you can unlock it i didn't I... see it though yeah i just wow. saw like normal no, i hope you can unlock it because the idea of gating prosthetics behind unlock is, fuck, is fucked up. yeah you haven't unlocked your wheelchair yet so you just have to crawl to all the cars <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so bad uh sorry um, uh and then uh the only other can thing I play that as, slightly can I play as peely from fortnite <laughs> yeah the only other thing that slightly bothers me is the scene where they're like you go to because you unlock the different camps around Mexico, and so you go to this like beautiful jungle, like waterfall and everything. And like, oh, look at this waterfall and these flamingos and stuff. Like, yeah, horizon. And the camera pans up and pans back down, and they've set up the stage and all the people, yeah, and all the cars, the and like everyone's jungle. there and in the middle of a jungle. I'm like, let's ruin this ecosystem. <laughs> <laughs> Throw but your garbage it's... wherever. <laughs> no, but it's funny because they kind of know what they're doing because on some of the save scenes at the bottom, it'll just say like pick up your trash and it's like <laughs> it's like okay you know it's kind of bad to have the festival here but i'm okay with it. i the one more thing on the language though is i i didn't play forza horizon one and two i played three four and five and i five takes place in mexico which is phenomenal you your your character is uh is presumably from mexico from how they how they speak and also the things they talk about and there's characters in the game that are from mexico but then everybody on the radio and a lot of the other characters are either Australian or British. And it's like, why? Why? I w- this game wants so hard to celebrate Mexico and to focus on that culture. And yet they keep like bringing these characters that have kind of been in the series before, but they're always just background characters. And they're just very annoying British and Australian people. And it's just like, no, we w- I want more local color. You know? Is, is, drive- just... is driving like a huge thing in Australia? Uh, I assume it was because they're like the horizon people that run the events and playground is in England. So it is, but they're they're still annoying. Um, I will say your character is Mexican. Yeah. My character is British. That's, 
Oh, weird. is that randomly generated? Like, Mike? No, you do, you do pick your voice at one point. Oh, I, I, that'd be so cool. So I picked a girl, and then I only had the male or female voice option. So I went the female voice option. And I did male. My whole backstory is I'm a superstar from the previous Horizon, who they brought the Mexican Horizon. So so I have the same backstory, but my character, you know, he speaks with a, with a Mexican accent. Yeah, my my person is clearly That's British. Weird. <laughs> That's the thing is that like this game so wants to celebrate Mexico and I love that because Mexico just gets a horrible rap in media and this yes. is just like no let's celebrate all the great parts of Mexico and 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 try and be culturally sensitive and relevant and we're just gonna have a bunch of British and Australian people and it's like no how no, you need to how do more is than that. Mexico by the way they, they, they you know everyone talks map. about it's the most photorealistic game ever they'll map the most land ever like it's good when, when you're driving around do you feel like Okay, they skipped a bunch of shit here to get me from no. location to location. Nice. Awesome. No. And I can't, like, I I mean, you gotta go through, like, the cocaine patches, but other than that, it's... No, I'm kidding. But, um, it's Can funny, too, because I like how much they celebrate these countries with each one of these games, mm -hmm. and part of me is like, I want them to make a Forza Horizon with every location, like, and then just make up an area to do that, but the other part of me is like, really enjoys how much they celebrate wherever they've chosen for that horizon. Yeah. Uh, and then the third thing is I did the volcano mission and I immediately want an Iceland horizon video game, at least I DLC. I was thinking about that too. Yeah. Um, Cause I would definitely play and, that, but I the rumor cool for... because you could do the whole like, island yes. with like, they yeah. could, they, you, you could do a one for one scale. And yeah. the, and the rumor for a while was, was Japan because you've got urban streets. You've got the two, the two gay, in the mountains, you've got all that I, other I'd stuff. rather they do like South Korea because there's a huge story. Yeah. <gasps> North Korea. Korea, empty roads. But folks, we need to talk about, we need to talk about something here. I have a huge problem with this game. Uh -oh. And there's all these people that like, the, I think this game is at like a the 95. The women are allowed to drive. I know. I've heard, I, 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 <laughs> I, I read your, uh, you read your tweets. They're not probably they need a male though. chaperone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Red uh, State Gibson. <laughs> look, this game this game was getting like a 95 on open critic. Um, I think like Gene Park from Washington Post said it's like the greatest racing game he has ever played and was like all these people lavishing all this praise on it. I, mean, I, I think that, racing. I think this game is very good, but this game has a huge flaw. It actually has two huge flaws. Not Uncharted. It's it's 99 percent <laughs> the same as Forza Horizon 4, which was 85 percent the same as Forza Horizon 3. This is the third time they have made this game. Like literally the menus are the same. The engine is the same. It feels the same. The unlocks are the same. A lot of the animations are the same, like the win animation. It is so much like the previous two games that I, I'm only played like 15 hours and I'm starting to burn out on it because I'm like, I, I've already played this game. They have not done enough to 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 improve this game. And we're not quite at Far Cry 6 where they've just remade Far Cry 3 so many times and not improved on it that it has become a bad game. But I'm worried about this franchise. They just have not improved enough. This really is just the previous, it's three and four. It, that's really it. They haven't really added that much to it. And that's very disappointing. Also, just let me fast travel everywhere. Don't, like, yeah. let me hover over an event and hit warp me to event. Like, I don't want to, even if I have to pay for that, but you pay for specific fast travel points, specific places. I'm just yeah. like, well, they do. They do a good job. There's a house you can buy. I think yeah. it's like 1.5 million, which doesn't uh, take that much to get that much money. And then that unlocks fast travel to any road. So you can pick anywhere on the map yeah. and fast travel to it. But I'm, I'm kind of, um, how's that whole getting out of your car, walking around thing? Is that anything? Happen. No, it doesn't happen. You can all. get around and walk around Wait, your what? car in the viewer. There's like a viewer. Of your car. Wait, no, no, so, no, no. In the fucking trailer, they show you, you like, you were first person. You walked and looked at a mural. It told you shit about the mural. That not, is that not in the no, game? The cut, cut, cut scenes, you're out of the car. You only, when you're controlling, you are only in the car, except for the photo mode where you can kind of walk around the, where yeah. you, you were first person walking around the car, opening windows and doors. Oh, I wanted to go to a Lucha match. I, I will I say, to a triple the, other, championship match. the other benefit of this game is that they have once again included... Uh, the next year version of my car that I own, which pretty much looks identical on the inside, uh, and I can just yeah. wrap it in anime ladies who are scantily I love dressed. That Forza, that Forza yes. is like fuck it. You want to have sexy anime ladies in your car? That's car culture. Well, the worst Get part you there. you click on a car, it immediately loads fan made 
like wrappers on it you have to then hit a different button to go to colors just to buy it with a color so of course I'm immediately i'm gonna pick the anime ladies as soon as they show up because the it's jurassic the park one or the jurassic yeah. i have two jurassic park cars um just because it's so it's so funny to me that yeah. <laughs> i should have these these ladies on my car it's just oh, i want to do yeah. it to my like i want to be clear this I game is great on TikTok, like load into that menu. And the very first result for the car they were on was a like spray painted version of the car that just said cop killer three one eight. And I was like, <laughs> that's awesome. I had um, in Force Horizon four, my Miata, the livery was it pink and it, and it said Vagisil on it. <laughs> oh, and good. the other one. The other one was it was a Ford Transit like cargo van, like a giant like plumber's van, and it was a KFC logo, and then it had a very inappropriate joke that I will not be telling on this stream. <laughs> uh -oh, and I drove Red that for a while. Gibson's coming out again. I will say the other thing, the details that they nail, um uh, for my car, uh they uh are the menu that shows you the speed in the middle of the hu uh, of the driver dashboard. Uh in the actual car to view that you have to like go into two menus and select it to show your speed instead of just the basic like odometer stuff and they have the correct selection in the screen in the video game for where you need to go to access that menu which oh, yeah. is really cool and then the other thing is um my family has a willy's jeep up in vermont and the willy's jeep they have in game has the like the labels that are on that jeep up in vermont and everything and i was like looking around at it i was like oh this is what it's that's cool and like part of me is like oh what if i like design some new seats and like buy some stuff to like add to the jeep in vermont that it's missing from when it used to have it and everything um anyways i just thought it was cool i i'm enjoying it i i think i'm with you ian i i didn't i haven't burnt out on it as fast as i did on the previous one but i think there's so many other games coming out and I kind of want to jump into this GTA trilogy that I think I might just play it a little off and on a little bit more and then slowly fade yeah. it out, you know, like like on its own. It's still a phenomenal game. It's great. The qualms we have with it aside, it's it's still a really good open world racing game. It's just this is the third one of of basically copycats. So yeah. uh, I want something new. I want something new. I want something different. And they're kind of just doing like quality of life improvements. Totally. At this point. Uh, I just want to shout out Save Data in the chat saying Rush is good. Uh, the band, I've never heard, but the game is incredible. Um, what about Big rush. Time Rush? Big Time Rush. Uh, folks, that was uh, what we've been playing. Uh, wow, we talked for a while. You want to just talk about like one thing? Yeah, we're going to talk about one thing. I'm going to play the new. I'm going to play the news theme. Uh, I'm going to play the news theme. Man, never doing 10 minutes of accents ever again. <laughs> they were borderline during Extra Life. Um, let me just play this news theme and we can, we can go. We can go do the news. <gasps> I've done it. I've done it again. Folks couldn't hear it at home. Here we go. I'm going to play yeah, it now. Gosh darn Dungus Dinkus. We're talking about news. It's gaming news. What's up, What's news? Up news? Those yeah. kisses were free. Um, folks, not much news this week. Uh, mostly because um, it's almost a uh, fucking game awards time, and everyone's in their bunkers. In their bunkers, oh, getting God. ready for to to see if Jeff God Keighley... the game awards. I love how I love how Jeff Keeley posted like three tweets and like ten bullet points of here's why this show is going to be amazing, and not a single goddamn one mentioned the actual awards. It was just we're going to have more trailers, more exclusives, and it was like it's an award show, you idiot. But they don't give a fuck about. No one cares about the awards. This is me off so much. Anyways, uh, depending on whether Jeff Keighley sees his shadows, there will be six more weeks of video <laughs> games. Uh, <laughs> I like that you said shadows, too, implying that he has several. Well, his and Hideo's. <laughs> they come out at the same time. Anyways, folks, uh, not much news uh, other than the fact that um, that's going to happen. 
Um, the Steam Deck was delayed to February 2022. Uh, Steam, surprise of no one. Steam, yeah, I mean, chip shortage. Well, I and, know. and to be clear, the only one of the versions was originally slated for 2021 anyways. The other lower versions were 2022. Don't worry, yeah, the so. chip shortage will be solved by 2024. <laughs> yeah, when they open that new factory. Um, I just mostly wanted to do this as a lead into also... Uh, the title of the episode, Sony uh, cut its production outlook due to more component snags. Um, folks, get your PS5s now because they're discontinuing it. They're never going to make them what? again. No, they just... This, I, I made this joke in um, uh, the Save the Discord, but because like, uh, Kaylee said we'd see something that was truly next-gen at the Game Awards, which is buzzword galore but i was like can you imagine if sunny was just like chip short is too bad playstation 6 <laughs> no playstation 5 it's it gone is. you know it's funny because part of my job is dealing with hardware suppliers and everything and they're literally just like uh we're discontinuing the current model the 122 and we're introducing the 122b which uses a slightly different chip that is easier for us to buy right now <laughs> that's crazy so um they cut down their uh let me just read. Oh, yeah, their target for physical units assembled for their fiscal year to 15 million from its previous target of 16 million. So they're only cutting a million mm. off the top. So a million people out there got your hearts broken. Um, Rumor is Walmart is stockpiling them for Black Friday. So get hope you get lucky. Hope you get I saw lucky. That TikTok. Um, and then that in TikTok other news, we touched on this exactly. briefly, but uh, Sony has partnered with a semiconductor manufacturing company in Taiwan to build a seven dollar billion dollar chip plant in Japan. Um, but they were saying they wouldn't even have production out of that facility until 2024. Excuse me, did yeah. you say? Did you say the T word? Oh, sorry. I mean the yeah, Tibet free it. <laughs> We're trying to get sponsored by Tencent, <laughs> all right? It's Chinese Taipei. Once again, okay. I legally can't say anything bad about Tencent. Stop bringing up Tencent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just need uh, David on here to talk about Blizzard. <laughs> well, he's allowed, he's allowed to say whatever he wants. Yeah, I just can't say anything about... Um, actually, what I should say Game is stop. I got... My impressions of GTA Trilogy are based on the fact that I was provided a code by the, um, by the uh, publisher. Um, Wink. <laughs> Wink. Um probably the first and only time I will ever be provided with a code. So Really? It's not, well, I it depends if it's big enough. Today was literally only because I, I I have a fast upload and download, so I could capture 4K of the game and upload it pretty quick. I guess that makes sense. No, no, like nowadays <laughs> they just send you footage and they're like, this is what you get, get bent. Yeah. But it also depends on like like Nintendo, I think gives us one code, uh, for like stuff, and you, if if we happen to ask oh, for yeah. it, like I I'm not I'm not anywhere near those logistics at the company, right, so, yeah, yeah. so I don't really know. But uh, when will Will finally get Metroid Four? Yes, when will I? Oh, I mean, I already have Metroid Five. <laughs> um. Uh. Anyways. Uh, Shiggy's Revenge. What else is there to talk about? There's so so much news. I I have a topic. It's not really news, but I have a topic. If you guys want to talk about it? Dirty. Yeah, let's do it. Dirty All right, boy. I'm, I'm I'm sending it in in Discord. You don't really need to read this. You'll figure it out. Um, just as thirty. Yeah. All right. So PC Gamer uh had a little had a little blurb. Uh, uh, it talked about the hit video game Elden Ring. You guys heard about? That? Yeah, no. by Elden Ring. It's uh, it's, no. it's by uh, it's by Tetsuya Nomura. It's his new big joint. Um, it's written by George R. R. Martin. Peter Molyneux yeah. involved. Yeah, uh, he he wrote the um the flavor text for every item. Yeah, it's got pages. Uh, anyway, PC gamer man. Uh, fucking Wes Fenian. No clue who this man is. Uh, said, "Hey, I played ten hours of this game." Not sure I I like it. Um, uh, basically saying that like eh, he didn't dislike the game so much as like he felt that the open world was a negligible addition to the game, especially in the sense that like it is an open world in which all there is to do is interact with and kill enemy. 
Mm-hmm. And like, I'm a very big detractor of, of Breath of the Wild's open world. I think it's a bad open world. Uh, and he actually notes it in, in this thing. He goes, uh, people like, you know, talk about how that's a shallow open world, but like that has puzzles and that has like things to find, like the, the Karaks. And it has like mm-hmm. interactions like that. And then it also has the kill, whereas Elden Ring has the kill. Yeah, I'm kill. reading a sentence here where he basically says that Quote, the small dungeons that pock, pock, pockmark the open world are mostly corridors with a few enemies and then a boss. Aside from the bosses, they seem destined to be forgotten, which I couldn't say about many Souls areas. Even the bad ones are usually memorable. Sounds like Skyrim. Sounds like a lot of just empty uh, content throughout the world. That's a little concerning. I think it's very concerning. But I'm yeah. also worried about this game. Yeah, I, I, it's, uh, I've watched some gameplay. You know, I think it looks fun. I'm not like... I, the things that excite me... Or not the open world, but it's like the map stuff and like the map is pretty. <clears throat> some of the um like jumping and more uh cool things. Man, what? <laughs> like riding a horse. You, no, the like, horse double jump. The horse jump's amazing. What does it say about Miyazaki's fucking game direction style that everyone popped for a fucking jump button? It's great. Yeah. Also, like with the horse, you can like do specific sides like you're heavy and right on yeah, like yeah. either sides with the bumpers, which isn't a new thing, but it's like nice that that's in there. I have to like. I'm glad that things besides uh, Ghost of Tsushima are like, hey, we should do that. Yeah, I, it's kind of weird though because like like people keep talking about this like it's an open world game, but w- when I you know I I've played every Dark Souls game. I've even played Bloodborne. I played at least an hour of each of them. Um, and they are kind of open world games like like they, they they are definitely more linear than most open world games, but they they don't constrict you to certain paths. The areas tend to loop back on each other and internest with each other. And so when people were like, oh, it's open world, I, I, I had the concern that this guy is talking about now, which is basically like. Are they just going to open it up and not have as like a tightly nested level design, which, in my opinion, is one of the best things about the Soulsborne series yes. is that their level design is incredibly well nested and intricate and you go oh this goes here oh this is that door up there that goes to that ladder over there and if you just have open fields that's gone you know and and then it's concerning to hear this guy basically say yeah it's kind of gone people Uh, fucking love open worlds and i don't understand why they they have to be good and there are very there are very but that's the thing they're almost never good i i also think uh i I mean, there's a world where there's stuff not fully implemented into this test build, correct? Oh, 100%. Okay. So, like, there's stuff that could be missing, or there could be areas that are locked, or there could be things that aren't finished that haven't been... I'm not saying, like, that's going to be some huge game changer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When is this this game coming out, though? It's only a couple months away. Did you say February? Yeah. But I'm saying this build is probably from July or August. But yeah, why would you release that to journalists? Like I like you're basically saying you're basically saying, oh, well, it's 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 probably not like this because it's a very early build. But then I'm thinking, why would you ever release a build that early to journalists it, for them to do previews? Of? Because uh, from Soft is a weird company, one and two, the game is going to sell no matter what it does. It but, lit it lit yeah. this, this this test could be a flaming pile of dog shit. It would not affect sales. Yeah, it's it's still coming out to public as well. They wouldn't. They're not necessarily making two different builds, one for journalists, one for That's public. True. But it does say that, that there are fog walls that pen them into certain areas. So it was also selecting which content they were yeah. allowed access to. <clears throat> that so, that makes me think like there's not gonna be like overworld hidden puzzles and shit like that, because that stuff yeah, would have this to is be it. that would have to be baked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point. I'm just saying it's not like it's the full out here game and they're getting the hundred no. percent experience of it. That's but I'm also not hope. saying yeah. that the company is hiding hundreds of things of things uh, I, i'm excited for this regardless um i uh you know i just like the f- look and feel of these games i'm not yeah. like i mean i deep Blood dive into one, any of it one so. of the greatest games i've ever played in my opinion so like i yeah, that's good i'm very i didn't like sekiro though so i'm, I'm kind of worried about this yeah but this seems like return to form like sekiro was a it's much more so, offshoot yeah so i i mean i, I, mean, I already pre-ordered the collector's edition uh, so I'm looking forward yeah, to that. Yeah, but you do that because oh. you're a fucking pervert. I know, I am. <laughs> Thanks. How's your fucking, how, how's your fucking uh, oh. Death Stranding Collector's Edition? I never bought it. You know Oh, that. you canceled that one. I, I canceled about it. That. And then when it was down to $90, I was 
I didn't buy it, and now you can't even get it. I can't baby in a jar. You should have uh, bought, bought a Cyberpunk one. Yeah, I do. Cut I do eyes. have. Um, I do have uh, Rock on my Johnny Silverhand. The Johnny Silverhand that I hey, won. Hey, w- when modders when modders fix that game in ten years, it'll oh, be put them in God of War. I don't know. <gasps> I want a God of War with Johnny Silverhand. I, Ma- Ian. That game's got boobies and dicks. People will figure a way out. Yeah, and on the same body. Um, they'll put Ellen Page in that. Uh, sorry, Elliot Page in that game. Um, <laughs> David Cage is entered the chat. David Cage, David Cage has been banned from the chat. I have naked versions of famous actors. Hi, hi. I brought a, I brought a, a, a fucking photo album of you as a child to this meeting because I'm weird and very inappropriate. I hate David Cage so much. Oh, uh, David Cage. Cage match Cage coming Cage. soon to a sub pixel near you. Uh, someday. Also, Pokemon. Hey. Uh, folks, thank you so much for everything you did. As we're done, I'm gonna play the music and we're gonna get out of here. Right. <gasps> it's not playing for news. the people, but I don't care. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna restart it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this has been Local Chat episode 45. Chris has been here. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what the? What do you mean? What is this shit? You're not gonna is, fix it. It's not in the recording what? either. No, it's in the oh, recording. Oh. You guys oh, can hear you just, it. You you cut it in yeah. midway through. I oh, I, yeah, I just okay. cut it midway for everyone at home because <laughs> midway. I thought you were just saying that they were going to Yeah, I thought you were just going to leave it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Folks, uh, Extra Life, please, please consider donating still. Uh, so uh, donate.subtextualfilms.com will bring you straight to the page with the donation link up so you can just type in your credit card information also this weekend the uh, save data extra life stuff will be on the twitch so definitely go check them out uh, on the twitch young man on the twitch uh, this is just in from the news while I'm reading it here uh, third place third place um if they raise over nine thousand dollars, Ian and I have to get a tattoo, which will be awful, and I will get the smallest one available. Uh, your smallest tattoo, please. Uh, <laughs> like a little boy with a lollipop. Um. <laughs> anyways, uh, we still got our twenty-four hours of Roblox stuff going on. We're gonna figure out more streams. I think we're three and a half hours down. Yeah, we got about twenty-one hours left. 21 hours left, folks. We're going to tick, tick away at that. I can't wait to play some Roblox. I don't think I've ever played it on stream hosting. But that doesn't matter because we will see you all next week. Bye.